Let's get this live stream started up. Oh. Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're just getting started. Yo, you can see the fruit of our labors right here, you guys. We got the EX Raid Pass. I just opened my game and it popped this up. Today was EX Raid Pass wave. I didn't put it in the title because I had something more important for today. We got fan mail, you guys. Fan mail. Woo! Anyway, I got some fan mail. got some stuff to open today. But, uh, yeah. Pretty exciting episode. We're going to do our daily EX Raid Pass hunting. But the USPS actually sent me uh, a package. Two packages that have no postage on them. Amazingly, one of my fans dropped this in the mailbox. And he did not put postage on it. And um, he didn't even put a return address on it, so they had no one to return it to. And some good, kind soul actually mailed the package to me. I got my package. So this is actually crazy. I'm really impressed. Thank you, U.S. Post Office. You guys are, like, good people. This came all the way from Oregon. H2So. You guys remember H2So? I think he's one of my mods. He was the one who sent it. So, yeah. Good guy some good guy or good woman at the post office um, <clears throat> mailed this thing so I'm very happy about that we're gonna open it in a minute once we get some people there he is h2 so dude your package came here he actually sent me a picture of the package he's like hey did you receive my package and I was like no I checked my mailbox and there was nothing there and he's like well I mailed it earlier this week and he sent me a picture of the package and it had no stamp on it and I was like wait there's no stamp on that package are you sure you you mailed it correctly and he was like oh no I didn't put postage on it and I was like yeah but I mean like I so I'm like sorry bro but you have to put like stamps on your on your package you know so anyway he was like a little bit unaware of how you know mailing things works because he's a kid understandably and of course <clears throat> some amazing person actually stuck it in the mail and mailed it to me so thank you h2 so did you send this other one as well I got a second one that also has no stamps on it. I don't know how it got to me. So I'm trying to figure that out. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this raid. You guys, tomorrow's my travel day. Tomorrow's my flight to go see FSU. So the stream is gonna be interrupted. The stream series is gonna have an interruption. We are going to have a minor interruption in the stream series. Okay. Got to go on that travel life for a minute. So, I'm not sure exactly what my stream schedule is going to look like while I'm, like, on, you know, this vacation. I'm going to try to publish as much as I can for you guys that's why I did a double upload today I wanted to get some videos done before I leave because I had stuff that I wanted to cover before I go but yeah tomorrow's my trip so pretty excited about that and I'm looking forward to meeting FSU that's pretty fun it's gonna be a fun finally youtuber meetup all right I get to go do my own youtuber meetup spoofer meetup <clears throat> all right but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, but, uh, you know, the stream series is going to be a little bit interrupted, so I know you guys watch a lot of other YouTubers, other people do the EX Raid Pass Hunting series, you may want to hop in some of their raids for a while. I may try to raid at night, but, you know, I'll bring the tablet and we'll see if we can do raids, but I don't know if it's going to work out, but we'll see, I might be able to do it. I might be able to do it. I'm going to bring the tablet, that's for sure, but we'll see how it works out. I'm pretty much going to have to stream from my tablet while I'm at FSU's house, too. It's going to be like the... It's not going to be the full setup with everything like you see here in my face cam and all that. I can't bring the computer. You know, it's like a $6,000 computer right here. The blue thing that you're looking at, that's my computer. So, I can't bring it. The laptop won't stream this. It's I don't know. The laptop can't do it for some reason. So, we're just going to stream from the tablet. It'll be the Pokemon... Uh, it'll be the YouTube gaming app. Just the regular old YouTube gaming app. Kind of basic streams, but we can do them. That's what I'll do for GoFest, too. <clears throat> Stream at GoFest. GoFest is the... I'm only a little excited about it. <clears throat> I really think there's going to be problems, so I'm not looking forward to having to deal with any problems related to it. 
I really think they're gonna ban my account, whatever account I spoof there with, so might not use my main account, which means I kind of don't care about the gameplay as well. But I'm just going to meet FSU and have fun. It's a travel trip. I'm actually going to meet up with my mom. Me and my mom are going to do some uh, some travel stuff. I'm going to bring you guys some Destination Pokemon Go content from the city I'm traveling to. I won't tell you guys what it is. I'll just let you guys know when the video comes out, so that'll be a surprise for you. I am going to Tallahassee to visit FSU, but that's not where I'm flying. I'm actually going to fly somewhere else and then drive to Tallahassee so I can meet up with my mom and hang out. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, you guys, if you got in the X Raid Pass, just so you know, whatever it says on the Raid Pass, that's what time you need to go there. People always think they need to convert the time that it says. <clears throat> you don't need to convert it. It already says the correct time. Convert it to your time zone. As long as the time is correct on your phone... And you're setting the correct time zone. If you reset your time zone for, you know, tricking different games, then you might not be on the right time zone, but it's pretty rare. Yeah, whatever time it says is what time your rate is. I actually have kind of a stomach ache today, you guys. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm going to raid. I got a little bit of a stomach ache. It came on right after I ate, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll feel better after I just, like, stream for a while, but right now, I'm like, uh, stomach ache. I'll be okay, though. August 4th, spoofing Japan for Articuno and Squirtle Day? <clears throat> I haven't heard it. <clears throat> I haven't heard about the updated Squirtle Day yet, you guys. Does anybody know? Joel M., is that the updated day? Yeah, I might try to do EX Raid Pass hunting, like my nightly stream, you know? I might try to do it, you guys. I might try to do something for you guys. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be able to pull off, but we may be able to do it. We might just, you know, raid. <clears throat> we might actually just raid in um, San Francisco, like we normally do. I don't know. I haven't made plans yet. <clears throat> Thanks everybody who smacked that like button. Let's go find another raid. Ooh, not a lot of raids today. <clears throat> Okay, we got a Reg Ice raid, but not EX. All right, head over there. Yeah, today was the EX raid pass wave, you guys. It's actually a really big deal. It's actually a huge deal. EX raid pass wave. If you guys got one, awesome. Shout out to Diabetic Geek. He said, Jono, me and Wifey bought the Tab S3 to spoof and gameplay. Can't wait to stream it. <clears throat> but not when you stream smart decision. Yeah, some people do stream at the same time as me FSU is about the only one who can get away with it I think everybody else kind of doesn't get the viewers that they would normally get if they just pick a different time But I stream at the same time every day, so I'm very consistent about that But I know people got busy schedules. They got to stream when they can stream, you know, it doesn't matter if you stream at the same time as me It's okay Hatch these eggs real quick I guess that means I should open up some gifts. Dude, I don't know why, but my stomach is like hurting. Stomach ache. I don't know. I think it's actually my muscles. I think I'm like, I'm sore. Apparently I got a lot of 5Ks going off. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I got the notification for FSU's live stream earlier, but I missed it. Like, I missed the stream. It was... I, w 
wasn't available to watch at the time that he was streaming. Yo, Ivysaur. Ivysaur. Might have to grab that just for the candies. Rando gaming, it does that to me sometimes too. It'll say I'm not sub to people. <clears throat> I really don't know why it does that. I honestly think France is gonna win, you guys. Croatia could do it. I know, rip England. Me and wifey haven't watched the game because we were both busy today, but um, we already heard the outcome, so. Somebody told her while she was at work, and she's a little bit bummed, but she was glad that Croatia won. She was excited for him. I honestly think France could do it, but Croatia's got heart, you know? They might really pull it out, because just, they're just very eager. <clears throat> Sylveon wants PvP. You should actually try uh, Jurassic World Alive. I know it seems crazy, it's not Pokemon, but that game has PvP, and I'm finding it extremely engaging. And the once you start playing that game and you go outside and you start farming dinosaur DNA and you realize that that DNA is actually going to help you get better in battles and you're actually going to get better dinos for battles, it starts to make you realize how broken Pokemon Go is. Like, there's basically no reason to farm Stardust. There's basically no reason to get strong Pokemon. There's no PvP to use them in. You can't even face your friends. So... Yeah, once I started playing Jurassic World Alive, I was like, dang, this game is even more broken than I thought it was. But it's just because PvP engages the player base so much. People are so engaged by PvP and a leaderboard. It really does something for the game, you know? So, yeah. I'm going to stand up, you guys. I'm going to go to standing desk. All right. <clears throat> standing desk. Engaged. Hold on, let me move my light, too. All right. I just... My ribs are like hurting, so. Sorry, you guys are like facing my light. The light is just like behind me. But yeah, I gotta stand for a second. I don't wanna sit on a plane, I'm not looking forward to that, but it's like two short flights instead of one long flight. I don't like layovers, but at least I won't be sitting the whole time. I gotta pack my bag tonight. Tonight I'll be packing my bag. I don't know how. I don't know. I walked earlier. I was good. I did all the things right earlier. But I still... I don't know. I got kind of sore. But I'll just stand. It'll go away. Yeah, Pokemon, <clears throat> Pokemon Go wasn't ready to be released exactly. It was not ready to be released. You could tell because the servers weren't ready. The gyms didn't work. So many things didn't work when they launched it. And then when you would submit tickets, see what they did, it, it was a total downward spiral. They released the game unfinished, it had all these issues, so then all these people are sending support tickets, and then they never responded to support tickets because they got this crazy volume of support tickets that you could never respond to. So they were just not responding to any of them. So it was like a really, 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 really bad process. Really bad process. It was like that for a long time too, sadly. People who played from the beginning know. I'm not telling you guys anything you don't know. People who played from the beginning know, and people who didn't will probably never understand the frustration. But people who played from the launch <clears throat> will always know. All right. That was the worst throw of my entire life. I should probably stop stretching while I try to throw. There we go. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, tomorrow's my flight. Kinda... You know... Like, I'm not looking forward to flying. That part's not fun, but... It's gonna be a fun trip. I should get some good videos put in. I'm gonna do some editing at night and then get some videos published for you guys. I got my laptop, I got Photoshop, I got my video editor, so I should be good to go to get you guys some videos of the different places I'm traveling, so it should be fun. <clears throat> it should be pretty fun. It should be a lit trip. <sighs> All right, here comes some cords for you guys. It's just another regular reg ice. The, there's not a lot of raids on the map tonight, you guys. I'll try and find us another EX here in a minute just so you guys can stay eligible. Yup. So many issues if you played from the launch. That's why when they have small issues now, like, we have no patience for it because it's like, you guys, this has been nonstop since you launched the game. Are you ever going to do anything right at this point? Like, we just don't know. They launched Friends and it says glitch, glitch zero or error zero on Friends. It said, like, God, what else wasn't working with Friends? Anyway, I'm not going to harp on it too much, but we just don't have any patience for these errors, you know? <clears throat> hey, did we hit 100 likes? If we hit 100 likes, I'm going to open up some fan mail, all right, you guys? Let's hit those 100 likes. I'm ready to start opening this stuff up, so. I got gifts from fans. I guess what I can open first is uh, my t-shirt, you guys. I got a new t-shirt. Um, <clears throat> I get a lot of offers from companies that want to partner with me, and I always... You know, I always take their offers very seriously, but most of the time they're not good offers. But in this case, um, I think I got a good one, and they sent me a free t-shirt to test the quality, so I'm going to check it out. We're going to see what we got here. Um, hopefully it's got a card in here so I can remember what the name was. Wow, this looks like it's really good quality. This is better than what I'm already getting, I'm pretty sure. Next level, I believe, is the shirts that I already get my stuff printed on. Please have a card. Please have a card. I don't think it has a card in here. I forgot the name of the company. Anyway. <clears throat> Looks like a good quality shirt. Looks like a good quality shirt, you guys. They sent me a shirt. I gotta consider if I wanna work with these guys on merch. I already have merch, you know, but it's um, not the best presentation. It's just something simple that I put together. So the, the actual, you know, presentation could be improved on the website and how all the merch is presented and the different merch that's available. So I told them to send me a sample, you know, so I can see the quality of the shirt. I got to compare it to my other shirts that I already have. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, friendship increased. Yeah, Ash, Ash the Emerald Knight is exactly right. I really expect my mods to be able to tell the difference between somebody that could actually turn into a fan of the channel and somebody who's obviously a troll, but I guess the, 
They're also worried about losing their mod that they don't want to hit the ban. That's fine. That's probably a good position for them to be in, but yeah, I mean, there's some people who obviously need to be banned. I think cert if you say certain things, <clears throat> you're an obvious candidate for ban. All the IVs are going to be bad tonight, I'm predicting. Bad IVs on that one. We can go to the cords, thank you, Jose. We'll go to that one next. New Oakman got 2056. There you go, buddy. There you go. It's a pretty good one. That's like a 96 or 93. All right, I'm going to sit back down, you guys. <clears throat> this one has run. Let's go see about this EX in Presidio Park. Four seven eight one. All right, you guys. I got my FSU OP shirt on. Magic Carp OP. Let's go do this raid. It's supposed to be an EX Reg Ice here. We'll see if it's really here. Alright, we gotta wait for a second. I'm gonna transfer Pokemon. That's all the ones I can transfer. Looking good, you guys. Looking good. Epic Gamer. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. It makes no sense. Sylveon, you're not even a troll. 
It says moderator in your name. Yeah, Yusuf is right. You're not even a troll. Like, oh, you killed me in creative mode. So troll. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> Did FS2 shot me out? Nice. Armando, thanks for letting me know. I really wanted to get over to his stream, but I was busy working on a bunch of stuff to get ready for later, and I just didn't want to be distracted and not get it done. Like, if I didn't get some stuff put out today, it wouldn't get put out until next week. I'm really going to be on a long vacation, guys, because <clears throat> this whole GoFest trip... Wifey's gonna come too, but she won't be on video. She's gonna hang out with my mom while I go and do everything that I'm doing with FSU. FSU is lit, I can't wait to go see him. I'm gonna get to meet his girlfriend, but he won't get to meet my wife. That's okay. I'm gonna get to meet Shiny Six, but he doesn't get to meet my little brother. It's like, wait. It's alright, though. I'm going to visit him, so of course I get to meet all his people. But I'll let you guys know before I come back home when to expect the live streams to be normal again. I won't keep you guys too in the dark about it, but I don't know exactly when I'm going to start normal schedule back up again. But we, I will try to do my regular live stream as much as I can. If I'm like sitting around, you know, doing nothing at night while I'm out of town, then I'll probably just do a live stream, you know. We'll see what happens, though. Alright, guys. We got 100 likes. I'm gonna open up some fan mail. Let's go open up this first one. I don't know where it came from. I think this one's from H2SO, but I don't know. It says, Dear Postal Customer, we sincerely regret the damage to your mail. They have all this like stuff wrapped around it. I'm like, it looks fine to me. It's not even in the best packaging. So I'm like, that's pretty nice of them to apologize when it's not even packaged that well. But that's okay. It made it, so whatever. From H2SO. This dude seriously put two packages in the mail. And like had no idea if they were even going to get to me. I'm like, bruh. Dude, he wrapped it in his homework. What the? Oh my god. He actually made this! This is made out of wood, you guys. He burned this into wood. This is the coolest thing I have ever been sent in my entire life. This is incredible. This is incredible. Carmen! Boo! Come here! Come look what this kid sent me! This is incredible! Look! He burned it into wood. Oh my god. Compare it to my other one. You guys, this is amazing. Drop a like and shout out to H2SO. H2SO made this. He's in the chat, you guys. 
The post office is so nice. He sent me two packages with no with no return address and no postage. Wait, that kid made that? Yeah, that kid made it and they actually mailed it to me. How did he make that? I think he burned it. Oh no, or maybe it's acid? H2SO. He said I wrapped it with my homework. Yeah, you guys, now I know your teacher's name. I won't tell anybody, all right? Hold on, I'm looking at your homework. These are wrong, dude. These are the wrong answers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Yeah, how did you make it, bro? People need to know. Wifey wants to know. All right, now I'm curious. I got two packages, you guys. Two packages. All right, he sent me a second package. Now I got to see what's in the other one. Yeah, show the shirt. Tell me if it's better than the one I already have. It doesn't feel softer, but I think it's the same brand of t-shirt. It's pretty soft, but my other one is like, I wear that thing like every day just because it's so soft. What the? <laughs> That's so cool. How did you make this, bro? Look, it says, "Congrat on hitting, congrat on hitting 100k subs." Jono plays. He made me an award. Like this is awesome. <laughs> he straight up made me an award. I don't know how he made these. Did you make these in school, bro? Like, how did you make these? This is amazing, you guys. This is the coolest thing. He sent me two packages. I highly don't recommend using his method if you can't afford the shipping. I'm pretty sure this won't work, but he lives in, like, Portland, and somebody there just has, like, a really generous heart, so that was nice. I think there's generally, like, good people in Portland that may have something to do with it. Did you say a laser? I don't know. H2SO is the one you're looking for. Wow, you guys. Congrat on hitting 100k subs. Jono plays. That is lit. My dude. My dude. He said check PayPal. Where's my phone? So the shirt is actually like softer, but the, but the other one is heathered, which means it has that look of being heathered. Mm. Like, you know, the Luke, thank you. But I think it's pretty soft. Might be a tiny bit big, I guess. Yeah, it's a little big. I have Maybe to shrink it. He said, I have an EX rate on the 20th at 5.30 p.m. You guys won't believe this. Let's see how it looks on you. I have an EX rate during my flight tomorrow. My EX rate is during my flight. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the plane Wi-Fi and I'm going to do it on the plane. I'm going to do my EX raid on the plane. All right, you guys. All these organic players are like, eh, I didn't get my EX raid pass in the same city that I'm going to be in. I'm like, just spoof it. Like, wh who, who cares that much, you know? But I don't care that much. I'm going to spoof it. I'm actually excited that I'm going to have something to do while I'm on the plane. It is extremely boring when you're sitting on the plane, guys. I got to tell you. It's about the most boring thing you could sit and have to do. So having an EX raid pass and getting to get a uh, getting to catch a um, Mewtwo while I'm on the plane, trust me, I'm pretty excited about that. EX Mawile, you guys. Let's go do that. Yep, I'm gonna spoof on the plane, you guys. Spoofs on a plane. You've heard of snakes on a plane, but have you ever heard of spoofs on a plane? All right. Your boy is gonna spoof the EX raid on the plane. All right, and guess who taught me pro moves like that? My boy FSUATL. I can't go wait to visit him. Dude, you guys, this is exciting. Tomorrow's my trip, get hyped. Get hyped. I actually hate flying like more than anything in the world, so I'm having a hard time getting hyped. But then once I get there, I'm going to be pretty hyped. It's 
placebo. Wait, fake Dan? Fake Dan? Fake Dan TDM. Wow. I never thought I'd see the day. <clears throat> Fake Dan TDM on my stream. Ban all fakes. See you, This is amazing, you guys. This one's the best. This one's the absolute best. I gotta find somewhere to hang that. That's amazing. I'm really impressed. H2 Cell, you're the man. I'm not going, Avoli. I'm gonna go to Tallahassee, Florida and visit FSU. You think I'm going to Chicago? Heck no. I'm gonna spoof to fail fest and see if it actually is a fail. And I'm gonna be watching the live streams and seeing how that goes. Maybe under all this stuff. You can take mine. No shine. Alright, you guys. Dude. I had Thai food for dinner. It was delicious. Made me kind of tired, though. Yeah, Voli, I'm gonna go visit uh, FSU. That's the plan. Flight tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to Chicago. I already tried that once. <clears throat> Didn't work out. Waste of time. That has been so useful for you. Wifey lost her keys, but I bought her a thing that helps her find them because she loses them a lot. <laughs> Holly! I bought her a tile just in case you guys are wondering what it is. It's a tile, T I L E. I got her the fancy golden white one that looks like super nice. She loves it. Showing some support. Thank you, Holly. Workflow got me crazy. Ugh, dude, you're telling me I gotta take a flight to go visit a YouTuber to make videos. I'm actually excited though. I mean, I'm really stoked to meet FSU. I get to meet Shiny6. More excited to meet FSU, to be honest. But, you know, that extra bonus. All right, fine, I'll meet Shiny6. But yeah, plus we're gonna stream for GoFest. You know, GoFest streams is gonna be litty. That's exciting stuff. But I don't like flying. I really don't like flying. Not my favorite. I gotta see what hatches on this egg. If it's something good, we'll do the raid. I'll give you guys quartz once I find out if it's actually worth doing or not. It's gonna be a stupid ride on. I know it. Sorry guys, I like I had a soda. The Thai food I had is um pad thai, it's fried noodles. Right, anything makes me tired, so I'm like, okay, here we go. It's alright, I'll get my second wind in a second. I should probably just grab another soda. What do I do for my job? I do this channel. Currently, I used to do uh, digital media management for different companies, but I haven't had to do that recently. 
Hey, Tyranitar, we'll do that. We'll do Tyranitar. I'm fine with that. Alright, let me grab a soda or something. I'm back. Alright. Yeah, Tyranitar is a, a little more exciting than a Regice, actually. That's kind of a good point. Thank you, Holly. I'm excited for the trip, too. I can't complain. I don't like traveling, but I mean, I like once I get there. I just don't like the actual traveling part. I like to drive. I'm a weirdo. I like to drive like two days across country rather than have to fly. But flying is faster. It's really the only reasonable way to travel. So, yeah, I got to do it. <clears throat> but I am going to be looking forward to kicking it with FSU. We already have dinner plans for the first night that I get there. We're going to be doing some fun stuff on the stream. I'm going to see if I can get him to do an organic adventure with me. Play a little bit of organic Pokemon Go. That should be fun. So, yeah, we're going to... We're gonna see how this goes. I don't know. I don't even know whose account he'll play when we play organic. Maybe maybe he'll have some somebody whose account he'll play. What's up, Wolfter? Thanks for the coinage. Showing some support on the channel. Thank you. Yeah, the travel fund is um travel fund is the current donation objective, basically. <laughs> travel fund. I still am gonna do the Europe trip with wifey, but I don't have my uh, I just don't have my passport and it's taken so long to get it so yeah every time I have an appointment to get my passport it like something comes up and I haven't been able to go or um, like we just don't have our travel plans and they won't give us an appointment because they want to give people who have travel plans appointments so it's not a huge deal it's just kind of like dang you know like I I guess the Europe trip is gonna have to wait till later in the year so we might go for Christmas or something like that she's got family out there so maybe we'll do something like that but yeah the the Europe trip I did talk about the Europe trip it's not like it'll never happen and it's I mean like I could go to Europe you know like I, I'll just go but um <clears throat> I have more important stuff you know ahead of that and wifey can always go visit whenever she wants so that's not really slowing her down from seeing her family she'll she's actually gonna go soon so yeah, the Europe trip will happen eventually. I'm not abandoning the Europe trip, but for now, we got the FSU trip. I actually would like to do a road trip. I'm either going to go see uh, Sean Limited. I got a plan with him. I, I haven't mentioned it to him in a long time because I felt bad because I said I was going to do it and I never went. But uh, I am going to go visit him eventually because Portland and that area is just like too easy and I've never been up there, so I got to go up there. And that'll be a fun road trip for me and wifey, so... Yeah, looking forward to do that one. That may be late in the summer. Possibly, I uh, expect a collab, me and Sean video, like, late in the summer. And then maybe in November, something like that, we could do the Euro trip. We'll see, I gotta schedule it in. It takes a few months to get your passport, so I gotta make that happen first. Going to visit FSU. Gonna make some memories that will last a lifetime. Aw, oh, Kodak moments. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be mega fun. Yo, the game. If we do a meetup, you'll drive down. Here's the thing. <clears throat> if you drive down, we'll meet up. You know what I'm saying? But, like, like me and FSU were kind of the same, you know? Like, the whole, like, everybody come to the meetup, you know? Like, that's not really going to happen. But, like, 
hit me up in the DMs, and if you want to go grab a beer and, you know, like, get some food together, like, that's what we're going to be doing, and FSU's already said that he's down to hang out with fans. I'm super down for that, so, I mean, we can tell you where we're at, and you can meet up, like, if you drive down, like, we'll meet up. Just make sure you get, just make sure you get into the DMs with me before that happens, because we're, we're super down to meet up. We don't have, like big big plans you know and and we're you know we're both fun guys but we're just not like over the top or anything we're gonna keep it simple and and just kind of do something that is entertaining for us like kind of low-key but if people want to roll out and you know hang out i know that's what i'm saying he won't do a meetup but he already said that he will meet up like with people he said that people can roll out i like how yusuf thinks he knows more about this than me thanks yusuf <laughs> Way to hold it down in the chat. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong? What is happening right now? What is happening, you guys? Why is this happening? It won't let me in the raid. But yeah, he did say that he's down to like grab a beer and like meet up with people who watch the channel. He's very clear about that with me. Because he said it on his live stream. Can I please just do this raid? Yeah, you guys, all the, um, all the nests are labeled on the map, so... You know, like... If you want to know what the new nests are, just check out the map. make Pokemon Go great again. They, they really need to build a wall to keep out Harry Potter Go and to keep out uh, Jurassic World alive because they're, they're really going to lose a lot of audience to those games when they, you know, reach full, full scale. Jurassic World alive, not exactly the Pokemon Go killer, but uh, Harry Potter Go is going to be kind of a big deal. It might actually shred the audience of this game completely. To the point where they cannot return. But I actually think that Niantic wants that. Why did they sell the foundation of Pokemon Go to Pokemon Go's biggest competitor? Are they trying to make Pokemon Go fail? That seems like a clear conflict of interest to me. Doesn't that seem like a conflict of interest? Like, okay, our big major competitor, we're the only game in this space, Pokemon Go, we're the only game in this space, and then our big major competitor is about to launch and then the company who makes our game goes and sells the foundation of the game to the company that's about to be our competitor. It's a total Google move, like that's such a Google move, but like it like it just seems like a big conflict of interest to me. I don't know. Are they trying to kill Pokemon Go? I'm not sure. So seems strange to me. Seems strange to me. I don't know. Guys what is happening right now? Okay, I got in the lobby. Now I'm going to restart the game and then come back out and get in the lobby and it'll... I, I, this might work. I don't know. I'm trying to do anything to make this work because I'm like, I already spent the raid pass. Yeah, I think I'm up to 104,000 subscribers. It really is growing. Like, it, it hit 100K and just kept on going. We're hitting a steady pace on the subscribers, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, 104,000. Honestly, that's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. It just goes to show, if you guys work hard on something and you're passionate about it and it really shows, there's other people who will see that and they'll want to be a part of what you're doing, you know? So, I think that I think there's good people in the world and... It's just fun for me to, to hang out with those kind of people on a daily basis. Finally.
right. What's up from Miami, Michael Fox? Suzanne, you're hilarious. Suzanne is so critical. I'm not gonna be inviting kids to the bar. That makes no sense. I literally like, I can't. I can't even respond to that. <laughs> Suzanne thinks I'm gonna invite kids to the bar. Suzanne, <laughs> I can't right now. I can't. That's what I'm not gonna do. Shout out to Zero watching from Arkansas. Don't make me show my Arkansas tattoo. I'm gonna have to show my Arkansas tattoo. Look, there it is. I really do have an Arkansas tattoo. Anyway, whenever people watch from Arkansas, I'm like, yo, it's lit. What's a perfect Tyranitar? I doubt it's 2046. Look, he actually, he actually looked like he ate that berry. Did you guys see that? Ryan Folger lives in Bentonville. I actually used to live in Bentonville. Um, I lived there for about six months and I used to walk at the uh, what, at the Crystal Bridges Museum like every single night, like that was my nightly walk. In fact, I kind of want to move back there. The houses are so cheap there. I just don't really want to have to, like Arkansas is kind of small towny, but Bentonville is like one of the bigger areas of Arkansas. So I like that about it. I'm still considering going back there. They just, I love California so much, but the houses are so darn cheap. It's like, wow, I, I probably should move back there. But <clears throat> alas, I am afraid that I won't enjoy it. And then I'll want to move back to California again. Ooh, we have an Absol raid. That's nice. Okay. Absol raid. 7858. That'd be nice. Get a shiny. 4247. Yeah, Crystal Bridges, they did an absolute amazing job on that entire project. So we used to hang out there like every night just because it's so beautiful and the walking trails are really well kept. You can see amazing stuff on the walking trails around there. One time I saw a snapping turtle that was literally this big just floating down a creek and I tried to like follow it with my eyes but I lost it when it went under a bridge and I never saw it again. But it was so big just floating down the creek and I was like, dude, you are huge. Like it was a monster. I was like, this is crazy. So yeah, Arkansas. Gotta love it, the natural state. That's where I grew up. I grew up in Arkansas. I'm probably like the only famous YouTuber that's from Arkansas. I think I might be the only famous YouTuber that's from Arkansas. Actually, I heard that the Bentonville Pokemon Go Discord was talking about me. My brother is actually in the local Discord there because he lives in that area. And uh, he said that they were talking about me a lot one night. So I guess I'm famous all the way over to I guess I'm famous all the way back to my hometown. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm doing the Absol. I'm probably at like 200 Absol raids, honestly. I'm probably closing in on 200. Let's go look while my, uh, while my cooldown is in effect. Twelve minutes later. Well over 200 raids, you guys. Just for Absol. Just for Absol. Just for Absol. Over 200 
upgrades for Absol. Wow. Wow. I gotta visit home to see family and stuff like that. I'm trying to pick somewhere. We're like debating if we want to move out of California and buy a house or not. So I'm trying to pick, I'm trying to like pick somewhere that I'll actually enjoy like a lot if we do buy something, but you know, I don't know. It's such a big deal to move. It's such a big deal, so. Let's all move to Florida. Avoli loves Florida. Avoli must have some good memories from Florida or something like that. I don't know about moving to Florida. I've never lived on that side of the world. They have alligators there, bro. Don't they have alligators in Florida? I'm not trying to get, like, my leg eaten off by a freaking alligator, dude. Like... That's the last thing that I want to have happen. Just moved out of Florida, too expensive? No, see, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, Florida is gonna be underwater. <laughs> I'm not gonna go anywhere that is too expensive. That's the whole reason I'm leaving California. If we are gonna leave, now we might not. We might just stay and put up with it. Because my income is raising every year. So, I mean, eventually maybe we will be able to afford to buy, but I'm like, why don't we just buy something now? And then if I can afford to buy later, I'll buy another one later. Like. You can always sell the house you live in. So, had an alligator lying in the grass one time? No, thank you. Flapper thinks he's getting hate on his home state. I just think that people are discussing the things that they like and don't like about various places because I'm legitimately considering moving and I want to find out what would be the spot where I would move. So, I mean, Nobody's hating. People are just trying to help me decide. It's a, it's one of the most important decisions in my entire life. And I gotta think about it, you know? Plus, it's like... What the... You know, like, what's gonna be the deal with the channel? Like, I gotta do something with the channel. I gotta make sure that you guys, you know, have something to watch. So, like, if I move to the middle of nowhere in Arkansas, I have to fly everywhere that I wanna go that's cool to visit. So, I don't know if that'll really work. Texas has some cool cities. I could live in Texas. Arizona has a lot of, like, cool historic sites. I could live in Arizona. New Mexico is the same thing. New Mexico is not too bad. Over 200 Absol raids, you guys, and I've only picked up one shiny. I mean, what is the shiny rate for Absol? It's apparently one in a hundred. I mean, I can't believe it. If I get one more, it'll be one in a hundred. It'll be less than one in a hundred. Like, how many people have a hundred raid passes to do on Absol, let alone finding an Absol raid? We have to spoof to find these raids. I mean, I can't imagine what it's like for an organic player trying to get an Absol. That's shiny. Oh my goodness, there's not a lot of raids out today. So we're gonna go do the red ice that's right next to us, just because why not? If I'm going to move to Missouri, I may as well move to Arkansas. There's, like, no difference. They're right next to each other. 
Guys, the red ice is right next to us, so go to that. Joshua Kelly grew up in Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, I have spent more time at Battlefield Mall in Springfield, Missouri than probably like any other mall in the country. I used to go there like a couple times a summer and then a couple other times a year as well for shopping trips because it was the only place that had a mall near where I lived in Arkansas. So yeah, I spent a ton of time in Springfield, Missouri. All my best friends that I grew up with that went to high school with me, they all live in Springfield now, or they live in Bentonville and Fayetteville area, but most of like my actual best friends live in Springfield now. But yeah, Springfield, Missouri, you got a lot of good memories there. Sometimes I actually do go visit there, just because I have a couple of friends there, so yeah. Yeah, Battlefield Mall, no joke, I really did grow up in that area. I honestly wouldn't mind moving back to Bentonville. When I think about Bentonville, I have fond memories, you know? And it's a good area, there's really good property there, really good land available, you know, good houses there. It's a really up and coming community. I mean, it's not up and coming, like it's already a great community and it's just expanding and getting bigger and bigger. So I like Bentonville a lot, I'm actually down with it. But the whole thing is like, where would I, I guess I don't play the game that much outside anymore. I'm such a spoofer, but I do play other games. I play Jurassic World. I might play Pokemon Go, or sorry, Harry Potter Go, but now that there's Jurassic World, I don't know if I'm gonna play that game, but we'll see. I don't have time for all of it, but we'll see. I mean, I like playing new games when they come out just to see if they're fun. Joshua Kelly has been to that mall. I would imagine you've been to the mall. I mean, like it's the only mall in like Springfield, so. I would imagine that you've been there, yes. That's why I mentioned it, because I figured you'd think it was cool. Yep, I've been to that mall many, many, many times. Battlefield Mall. That used to be, like, literally where we would go for any shopping trip whatsoever. <clears throat> Bentonville, a.k.a. Walmartville. That's right, the home of the original Walmart store. Some people don't know that that Walmart built Crystal Bridges. The museum I was talking about, it's a museum of fine art. It's uh, fine art and modern art. And they, um, they built, Walmart built this entire museum. It's a huge complex. It is unbelievable. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Some of my Absol are from research, but I've done maybe a dozen Absol from research, if that. Over 200 of them are from from raids. I'm not exaggerating that. I've done over 200 Absol raids. I have barely any research. Dude. Sorry we didn't have as many EX raids tonight as we usually do. I mentioned this earlier in the stream, you guys. I'm going to mention it again. I am going on vacation tomorrow. The channel's going to be a little bit slow. There's not going to be a ton of content on here like we usually have. I have to apologize for that, but got to take vacation sometime. Plus, I'm going to be making content for you guys. I'll be making content regarding uh my vacation i'll have some content with fsu atl i'm gonna have some pokemon go fest content i'm gonna have some content around the city that i'm traveling to that'll be a surprise so i'll let you guys know once i come out with it but yep i will be on vacation you guys you know watch for notifications from me from the channel it's gonna be good content i'm only gonna put out like really good stuff but I'm not going to have nearly as much content as you guys are used to on the channel. It will be a little vacation, you know. Also, you guys, um, tonight's the last night of Season 4 in Fortnite. I know Voli's pretty excited about that. I am going to be wrapping up the stream just a little bit earlier than normal so I can start playing Fortnite and enjoy Season 4 before it's gone. And I also want to try to finish up my Carbide skin before I lose the opportunity to do so. So, yeah, last night of season four, you guys, if you didn't know that, tonight is the last night. 
Danny says, I'm confused. Why does Earthquake affect flying types? In the actual game, it doesn't. Yeah, because they broke this game. That's the short answer. They took a regular, perfectly normal game, and then they broke it by doing it completely halfway instead of doing it the full way. And now we have this beautiful broken game to play. Was my red eyes good? 1725. Nope. Yeah, I'm always trying to get to 80. I'm trying to get to 60, honestly. I can't even get to 80. I didn't play enough while it was season four. Because there was a time when I was like, man, I suck at this game. I don't want to play this game. And then I was like, no, you got to get better. I was like Rocky. I was like, you got to get better. You got to train harder. And then I did. And then I'm like, oh, now I'm actually kind of decent. So I'm going to get good at that game. I like that game. It's obviously putting out a bunch of fire content, so I'm going to keep on getting good at it. But that's going to be my last raid, you guys. I'm done. I'm going to play some Fortnite. I'm going to, you know, get my night going with some Fortnite content. I'll probably come right back and start live streaming and just play Fortnite for the rest of the night with a bully. I don't even think he's off work yet, but I'll be playing and uh, waiting for him to get off and just trying to get myself leveled up, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We did do a couple of EX raids. And uh, you guys should have received your EX Raid Passes today. Today was EX Raid Pass Wave. If you didn't get one, I'm sorry. Keep on trying to do those EX Raids at the EX Gyms. That's basically the way you get one. That's why we do the same thing that we do every single day, just to try to get those EX Raids. But yeah, tomorrow, 1 p.m., I will be on a flight, you guys. I will actually be on a flight doing this EX Raid, so I may try to get some footage of that but there's gonna be people sitting next to me so I'll probably just record my screen and um, see what I can get you know I'll just see what I can get for you guys I'll try to find some way to record it that shows you I'm on a plane you know so yeah I'm gonna try to do an episode for you guys my first episode on vacation is gonna be can we do the EX raid while I'm on a plane can you spoof while you're on a plane I think it's gonna be fine We'll just have to see how it goes, you guys. I really don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. I don't want to film the people next to me in my seat, but I'm like, hey, I kind of want to get footage of me doing this raid, you know? So I'm like, dang, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, you guys, I'm out of here. Uh, vacation starts tomorrow. You guys are not going to hear a lot from me. Um, I will try to post on my community page, so watch my community page. That should show up in your sub feed, so you should be able to see if I post on there in, in your sub feed. Maybe I'll post you guys a picture, you know, I'll give you guys an update like, hey, here's what I'm up to. I'll try to post a picture of me and FSU to my community feed, all right? You guys will hear from me on Twitter. I'll definitely be active on Twitter. I might post some vacation photos to Instagram, you know what I mean? So yeah, <clears throat> that's the that's the plan. Big rats, people in Bentonville play Pokemon Go, hate people who are spoofers. Um, yeah, I heard that they were all talking crap on me in the bent in the in the Discord for that area because, you know, I'm a spoofer or whatever, and Reversal mentioned me one day, so they were all talking about it because they follow him or whatever. And that's funny, you know. I mean the fact is there's people who spoof in that area, but they just have to keep quiet because they don't want to get kicked out of the groups. Which is kind of dumb, you know, but anyway, that's how it is everywhere. There's a lot of secret spoofers, and that's why I came out of the closet with my spoofing, because I was like, look, I know there's other people like me who are secretly spoofing, and this is dumb, you know? Let's just spoof. So anyway, I'm one of the first people that came out on my channel from the organic Pokemon Go community and said, look, this game is broken, and it's been two years, and they haven't fixed it, and I'm going to spoof, you know? So I think there's a lot of people who respect that. Obviously, a lot of you guys play the exact same way. A lot of you guys have been persecuted by your Discord group, by your Facebook group, by people who are in the organic community. And it's lame. It's just a stupid game. It's like, come on, you guys. Like, sometimes I play on my couch because it's 100 degree weather. Like, who cares, you know? Sometimes I raid with my friends on the live stream because it's easier to raid. Nobody cares. But those people are haters. No worries. Anyway, if I was going to move... To a different area just so you guys know this if i was going to move to a dis to a different area i would not join their discord group and i would not join their facebook group unless the admins of that community reached out to me and invited me to join it all right i learned my lesson i joined up in the groups and a bunch of people were crazy 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 toxic haters to me and uh the mods allowed it and i thought this is the most 
ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. So anyway, if I do move, I'm definitely not joining any of the local groups unless their moderators specifically reach out and invite me. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I really don't care. People are like, oh yeah, you can't join the Discord in this city or you can't join the Discord in that city. I don't need a Discord. None of us need a Discord for a local city, you know, like we spoof and we don't need stupid stuff like that. Now for the people who really wanna, you know, like they, what, the reason I say it's stupid is because the people who admin those groups are so toxic and they allow the kind of hatred on spoofers and the kind of hatred, you know, instead of just saying, don't talk about this, they allow the hatred to fester. So it's really, you know, I don't like to be in those environments and I don't like to be the target in those environments. And that's why I don't plan on joining any other discords unless they're spoofing discords, you know? So yeah, that's the... That's my plan. I'm not going to be joining any organic discords. All they do is hate on you, you know? Like, all they do is just try to pick fights with me every time I'm in there. So I'm like, no thanks. I don't have any interest in being hated on, you know? Like, come on. Thanks for 200 likes, you guys. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. I didn't even have to beg for likes today. Thank you so much, you guys. Honestly, I really appreciate that. I'm going to be on vacation. I am gonna be on vacation. Let me open gifts right before I, you know, finish up for the day. Let me open gifts real quick. Let me open a couple of gifts. <clears throat> Cause I've got egg slots available that I haven't filled in. Yeah, it's true, Joshua Kelly, exactly. I never spreaded any hate against the organic community. They spreaded hate against me. And then people, you know, act like I'm so toxic. And I'm like, you guys, I didn't write a tweet longer about Reversal. Reversal wrote the tweet longer about me. I didn't copyright strike any of Reversal's videos. He copyright striked my videos. He's the one who's been aggressive and bullying me. And then people who are sheeps want to act like I'm, you know, so toxic towards him. And I'm like, oh, because I respond to him, I'm toxic now. Like, there's nobody like in the organic community that wants to address all the things that he did to me before I responded to it. Anyway, it's just funny. I'm like, yeah, I'm so toxic. Sure. I'm the only one who has a no swearing live stream, no negativity live stream. You know, we always keep it litty like skinny, but somehow I'm the toxic one. Sure. <laughs> it's like actually funny though. <clears throat> anyway, I said I was leaving, but now I'm just gifting. I should just max out my gifts for the day. Yeah, Reversal actually did do a copyright strike on one of my videos that he gave me permission to post. It's the, uh, basically in the YouTube world, it's the lowest of the lowest thing you could possibly do to another YouTuber. The lowest of the lowest you could possibly do to another YouTuber. All right. <clears throat> and then it's funny that the other YouTubers take his side because I'm like, what if he did the same thing to you? If he copyright striked one of your videos and it actually had an effect on your channel, they would be pretty upset at him. But no, I mean, like, they just think it's fine. I get they probably don't know about it. That's the thing. It's not really widely known information, but he did do that to me. That's why I'll hate him forever. Because he did that to me. Unless he apologizes. He could apologize. He won't, though. But he could apologize. He could also retract the claim. The claim is still there. He could retract it. He still has the opportunity to retract it, but he won't. <clears throat> All right, you guys. I'm going to have to get out of here. I think he is still banned from Twitter, right? Didn't he quit YouTube? Or did he come back? Pretty sure he's banned from from Twitter and he banned himself from YouTube. He said he was gonna take a break, but I don't even know. I have no idea. LVP, are we finally great friends? Nice. That's cool. Uh, apparently my bag is full. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. 
and I'll see you from my vacation. Keep it poochy, keep it lit like lit, and keep it lit like diglet, and I'll catch you on the flip side. I'll catch you on FSU ATL's live stream. See you guys. Peace. Poochie.